Hi, betting experts. On Thursday, August the 17th, they're off to Beverly on Thursday. A competitive card, plenty of interesting races. They put on decent prize money, get good crowds. It's a really well-run track. We start off with our betting expert, Daily Nap, sponsored by Bet365. This goes in the 2.30, the Beverly Racecourse Sculpture Trail Nursery. A five furlong class six for two-year-olds only. £37,500 to the winner. Quite a few unexposed lurkers. But on terms of form, I think Charlie Mason has outstanding claims. Now, David Evans going really well at the minute. Seven winners in the last 14 days, having been a bit quiet. And to be fair to Charlie Mason, he started off his career when the yard was badly out of form back in May and June. But he's shown promise in some pretty good races. That fifth on his second start came in the York Cellar one by Celestial Fly that always is very strong form and this year was no exception. Recently he's run twice over six furlongs on soft ground at Nottingham and at Fosslass and he's run with promise but I think this faster surface and the drop back to five furlongs will definitely suit him. He's off a mark of 60 and that should be well within his compass. Often at Beverly, particularly in these low grade races, they go really hard and stop and I think Charlie Mason who stays six furlongs will pick these off late under Phil Dennis. Our betting expert value angle selection sponsored by Bet365 goes in the three o'clock. This is the Happy Retirement and Dunn Nursery. Uh, class six for two-year-olds only again. £37,500 the winner. Just over seven furlongs. And again, there's some unexposed ones and the longer triple suit plenty of them. I think Stamper is a very interesting runner from Ollie Pears. Now, the positives, Ollie Pears really going well for a small yard. Four winners at a 25% strike rate in the last 14 days. This one's had three runs. He started off with a very promising sixth over five furlongs on soft ground here. So the track's no issue. He was green and clueless that day, but he did go straight into the notebook to win a nursery. Then went to Redcar, finished a remote, remote third in a hot maiden behind Arctic Shadow Facts. They put blinkers on at York last time we talked about the race already is that seller won by Celestial Flight he finished a creditable eighth there beaten eight and a half lengths now the long and the short of it is he's got an opening mark of 56 and on the promise of that first start here that is extremely lenient I think the step up to seven will suit I think faster ground will suit Ollie Pears flying the only slight question mark he's been off for 62 days I don't like breaks at this time of the season when they could be running every fortnight but hopefully all is well and he's been primed for this nursery best of luck on Thursday betting experts and please remember to like and comment on all of our YouTube videos. Thank you.